here we are starting with our section 128 128 of the companies act 2013 which is stating with respect of maintenance of books of accounts that is accounts and audit is the chapter name which is stating that every company shall every company shall prepare and keep at its registered office books of accounts and other relevant books papers financial statements for every financial year that give true and fair view of the state of affairs of the company including that of its branches should be in a position and the company should be in a position to explain the transaction which has been affected at the registered office and at the branch which has been stated that company this is a company company have to prepare and keep at its registered office company this is the company company shall prepare and keep what books of accounts financial statement at the registered office next question for is it required to prepare and keep the financial statements for every financial or for a particular financial which may be uh, indicated no every financial year books of accounts have to be prepared for every financial year and books of accounts should be true and fair that is books of accounts prepared in such a manner that give true and fair view of the state of affairs of the company that is what is happening in the company what is the position of the company what is the result of the company this has to be truly and fairly represented by the books of accounts so every company shall prepare and keep at its registered office books of accounts other books financial statements for every financial year that give true and fair view of the state of affairs of the company suppose if the company is having a branch company having a branch so such books of accounts also include the books of accounts of the branch okay such books of accounts also involves the books of accounts of a branch and the company should be in a position to explain the transaction at the register at the principal office and at the branch office which are the transaction of the branch which are the transactions of the principal office the company should be in a position to explain the same so such books of account should be kept on accrual basis accrual basis then according to double entry system of accounting we know that books of accounts have to be true uh, books of accounts should be prepared in such a manner that give true and fair view of the state of affairs and such books of accounts should be kept on accrual basis according to double entry system of accounting then what is mean by this books of accounts or what are the uh, main items or that is received in this books of account or that is to be included in the books of account profit and loss account balance sheet this is the financial statements statement of asset and liability income and expense cost records they have a chapter cost audit we will explain the all uh, relevant matters with respect of cost uh, cost records and cost audit maintenance of cost record and uh, uh, the matters that is to be considered by an auditor while doing the cost audit in that chapter okay so now you don't worry about that then such books of accounts can be either maintained by the company at the registered office in the definition or section 128 state that every company shall prepare and keep at its registered office so they have two option either the company shall prepare and keep the books of accounts at the registered office or any other place in india it is stating that board of directors of the company may decide to prepare and keep such books of accounts any place other than registered office so suppose if xyz limited company they are deciding to maintaining their books of accounts at a place other than registered office this is the registered office but they are wishing to prepare and keep their books of accounts in this place which is not the registered office can they do so this is the question as per our act they can do so but the company have to pass a board resolution board of director have to pass a board resolution suppose they have passed the board of board resolution and the same shall be filed that is a notice has to be filed with the roc where the registered office of the company is situated within a period of 7 days of board resolution they have passed the board resolution within a period of 7 days of that board resolution they have to file a notice with the company so this is nothing which has been stated that company have to prepare and keep at its registered office or any other place books of accounts relevant books financial statements for that financial year and for every financial year that should be 
that should give true and fair view of the state of affairs of the company suppose if the company is wishing to maintain their books of accounts at a place other than registered office they have to pass a board resolution that is the board of directors of the company have to pass a board resolution and the same have to be communicated to the registered of company by filing a notice within a period of 7 days of board resolution this is what section 128 mainly telling and another case if you don't understand i will explain you once more company either books of accounts at the registered office or any other place if board of directors wishing to maintain their books of accounts at any other place first of all they have to pass board resolution then notice shall be filed with the registrar of company within a period of 7 days if they complied with this they can maintain their books of accounts at any other place other than the registered office then xyz company principal office is situated in kerala having a branch at mysore okay so and the question is branch may also branch absolutely have some uh, records entries and they may also have some transactions etc so they also have to maintain their books of accounts so whether the branch is required to maintain the books of accounts at the branch or at the registered office or at the principal office this is the question answer is that as per section 128 branch can maintain their books of accounts at the branch but one condition summarized return that is summarized or periodical return have to be sent to the main office or to the so this summarized return or periodic return have to be sent to the registered office normally within uh, quarterly okay normally quarterly return have to be sent to the registered office so branch can either maintain the, um, branch also have the right to maintain their books of accounts at the branch itself but periodic return or summarized return have to be sent to the registered office at a periodic interval normally it is quarterly okay so i hope you understand with the same this this section uh, telling mainly telling that they can maintain the books of accounts either at the registered office or any other place you have if they have to maintain it any other place board of director have to pass board resolution within a period of 7 days of board resolution they have to file a notice with the roc with the same that is they have they are intending to their uh, maintenance of books of accounts at any other place then books of accounts have to be maintained in such a manner that give true and fair view of the state of affairs of the company it has to be kept at accrual basis on the basis of double entry system of accounting or according to double entry system of accounting branch branch can maintain their books at the branch but periodic return have to be sent to the registered office okay so the next question comes now we are living in digital law digital world or electronic world so why we can't maintain this books of accounts in electronic mode the same question as asked by some companies to the company side 2013 so they introduced what company account rule 2014 as per rule 3 it is the company shall maintain the books of accounts in electronic mode company shall maintain the books of accounts in electronic mode so the uh, but subject to some conditions suppose company is maintaining some books of accounts uh, but the original document shall not be what deleted or uh, destroyed without the permission of the government and they have some other conditions books of accounts other books or records which are maintained in electronic mode shall be accessible in india for subsequent reference we may require the same data for any subsequent reference it may be mainly for the purpose of audit so it has to be accessible in india for subsequent reference books can be either in physical form or electronic form no matter but the same have to be available in india or accessible in india for subsequent reference then books of accounts records which are maintained in electronic mode shall retain completely in the originally generated format that is shall not make any changes 
changes is not allowed that is if they are converting the physical books to electronic media changes are not allowed that is books of accounts record shall be maintained in electronic mode in completely in the re and retained completely in the originally generated format so the question comes what happens with respect of the books of accounts records which has been comes from the branch company is getting some books of accounts or records of the branch what about this this is the question so the question state that if accounts uh, books of accounts which has been received from the branch it has to be retained in the format where it can depict what was actually received so the same is implied that it has to be uh, retained in the originally original received format what was received the, from the branch this has to be provided in electronically no alteration is allowed then display in legible form that is electronic record of document should be displayed in legible form so they have one more thing there should be a proper system of storage print out retrieval plus display there should be a proper system of storage print out retrieval and display that is it is stating that electronic record of document should be displayed in legible form then suppose if some books of accounts and other books records the suppose there is a backup so backup of such books of accounts other books records of the company which has been maintained in electronic form including the matters uh, of place outside india shall be located in server in india that is server backup may backup of the record and the server have to be located in india so backup of books of accounts other books records of the company in electronic mode including the place outside india shall be located in server in india so server have to be located in india so 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 it is very easy to what obtain that information then suppose if a company is maintaining the books of accounts on cloud basis or any other basis they have to file the following information on an annual basis to the registrar of company the following shall be intimated to the roc name of the service provider ip address of the service provider location of the service provider then name of the cloud if we are maintaining the information on cloud so this is what the answer to the question can a company maintain their books of accounts in electronic form so the answer is yes as per the company said books of accounts can be maintained in electronically company have to uh, comply with the following condition it has to be accessible in india it should be written completely in the originally generated format if it is received from the branch it has to be uh, retained in such a way in where it can depict what was actually received there should be a proper system of storage print out a display uh, and what retrieval then the electronic record or document should be displayed in legible form backup of record other books uh, of the company including the place outside india shall be located in server which is uh, shall be in server located in india then the last one annual basis information shall be filed to the registrar of company then the next question comes what is the time period up to which this books of accounts is required to be maintained as per the companies act books of accounts has to be maintained for a period of 8 years suppose the company was formed in 1993 1993 product company they have to maintain the books of accounts this is what 2018 2017 16 15 16 these are the 8 years for the immediate preceding financial year they have to maintain the books of accounts so each books of accounts of the company that is 2011 books i hope i have uh, told 2011 so this 2011 books of accounts have to be maintained by the company up to 2018 okay or 2010 books of account have to be maintained by the company up to 2018 it means that a company is required to maintain their books of accounts for at least a period of that is not less than i uh, not less than 8 years they have to maintain their books of accounts for a period not less than 8 years suppose a company abc limited which was come to in existence or which has been incorporated in 2015 and this is 2018 only 15 16 16 17 17 18 3 years so how can they maintain the books of the previous 8 years in that case it is not possible if a company which has been comes into existence or which has been incorporated uh, 
for less period or for a shorter period they have to maintain their books of accounts for all the period it means all the three years they have to maintain the books of accounts then or there may also have some some cases where the central government may prescribe the duration or the time period which is to be followed by the company with respect of the maintenance of books of accounts normally 8 years a company which has been incorporated for less period shorter period they have to maintain the books of accounts for the all period from uh, from where they have been incorporated then as per the order of the central government that is cg may prescribe the time period up to which they have to maintain the books of accounts so this is what section 128 okay so section as per section 128 we have discussed that company had to maintain the books of accounts so suppose mr x is coming with the company and telling that i have to inspect the books of accounts he is not a director so company telling that no you are not allowed because you are not a director whether this statement by the company is true or false it is true only a director have the right to inspect the books of accounts other books and papers so books of accounts other books papers maintained by the company in india shall be open for inspection at the registered office or at any other place as may be decided by the board of directors during the business hours and such inspection can be done by any directors did you get which has been stated that company company maintain the books of accounts either at the registered office or at any other places so suppose mr d who is a director is coming to the company for making inspection company will tell that you can inspect such books of accounts or other books from the registered office because we are maintaining that books here uh, in the registered office or suppose the company is maintaining the books of accounts any other place as per the board resolution then company tell director that okay mr d our books are maintained at that place as per our board resolution that is it is not maintained at the registered office it is maintained at the other place so mr d is uh, telling that so can i make the inspection after 9 o'clock that is 9 pm so company tell that no it is not allowed you can in make such an inspection of books of accounts other books and papers only during the normal business hours okay so after 9 pm or midnight 12 pm you are not uh, midnight 12 am you are not allowed only you can inspect the books of accounts in normal hours that is normal business hours it has been stated that books of accounts other books papers maintained by the company in india can be open for inspection at the registered office or any other places during the business hours and any person who is a director of the company shall make the inspection here de who is the director is allowed to make the inspection x who is not a director is not allowed to make the inspection so i have a another question suppose this company is having some transactions with the foreign foreign uh, foreign it means that they may also have some information which may be maintained at uh, may, which may be maintained outside india information maintained outside india so what about this information this information have to be produced by any director who has been authorized by the board of directors within 15 days of request suppose someone is demanding that information which has been maintained outside india so company have first of all uh, he raised the request in that day that is first june 2018 that is june first he uh, he requests the company to pro pro provide that information which is relevant to me which about which is maintained outside india i am not able to inspect that uh, information at the registered office or any other place then board of directors of the company may authorize a director who is required to produce that information maintained outside india within a period of 15 days i hope you understand the same that is if any information if any information of the company is maintained outside india the same information have to be produced by any director who has been authorized by the company within a period of 15 days okay then suppose abc limited has made some contravention to section 128 any penalty or punishment is applicable to that abc limited we have to understand that what are the penalty or punishment that is applicable suppose abc limited absolutely have a managing director then there we also have whole time director there may also have chief financial officer may or may not have if having then if any okay bracket in bracket if any that is managing director whole time director cfo or any other person 
who has been authorized by the board is responsible to maintain the books of accounts or compl ensuring compliance with section 128 suppose if abc limited is not complied with section 128 the managing director whole time director chief financial officer if any or a person who has been authorized by the board shall be punishable with imprisonment one year imprisonment everyone will be punishable with imprisonment one, for one year then fine what about the fine this is the question there is also have a minimum fine and a maximum fine minimum what 50,000 which may extend up to 5 lakh that is 50,000 to 5 lakh this is the range imprisonment up to one year either they either they either they may be punishable with imprisonment 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 sorry or the uh, company may impose penalty on this uh, on that defaulted person and company side also gives the power that or both that is imprisonment plus penalty may be applicable not and and not mandatorily applicable imprisonment or what penalty or both this is the case so if a company is not complied with section 128 or made a contravention to the provisions of section 128 every managing director whole time director chief uh, financial officers if any or a person who has been authorized by the board of directors shall be punishable with a fine which may which may not be which may not be less than 50000 and which may extend up to 5 lakh uh, or imprisonment up to 1 year or both so this is the case so here we are completed our section 128 which was mainly talking about the maintenance of books of accounts it can be either at the registered office or any other place which may be prescribed by the board of directors after passing a board resolution and which has to be intimated to the uh, registered of company through a notice which has to be filed within a period of seven days then electronic record rule three we have already discussed the same then penalty we have already discussed the same i hope you could understand with the same then inspection read through it okay so here we are completed about section 128 thank you friends we will continue the next section in the next lecture okay enjoy your study